call a meeting for the corporation of the town of Cobalt to, uh, to order for December 19th, 2023 at 6.29 p.m. Disclosure of pecuniary interest and general nature thereof. Done. Done. Okay. Um, public meetings, there are none. Deputation, delegations, Cobalt Public Library 2023 budget presentation. And we have, who's doing the presentation? Mary Church. One of the board members is going to do the presentation. You can come up here, Mary, to the table in the center, please. Um, we're going to save any questions till the closed. Welcome. Thank you. Do I to start? Go right ahead. Um, I'm sure that you're all aware that the board is in a rather precarious situation at the moment. I think there's a, a very much so a, a lack of money in the account. Um, we have uh, a payroll to pay, which we don't have the money for. And I'm of the understanding, and understand that I'm new to this, like less than a week. I'm of the understanding that there was a budget that was struck. It was and $25,000 was allotted to the library. At this point, they have received $12,500. I'm here this evening to ask you to to uh, honor your part of the budget and pay that to the library board as soon as possible. Um, I, I don't know what else to say except that it's our position that we're moving forward. We're not dwelling in the past. Um, we've turned a corner. We. Um, I think we have one rather, one rather large outstanding uh, account to pay, somewhere around $3,000 for a, uh, a legal fee. Um, and of course, the, uh, the payroll that needs to be met by the 22nd of December. Um, we have uh, resolved all our issues with the uh, CRA. And um, as far as I understand, we're up to date with that. And so at this point, we're asking that you honor the 12500 that needs to be paid to the library. Um, we're going to ask questions in closed. And when we come out of close, we'll be making a motion, which will answer the question of okay. what we're going to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. As I said, I'm green at this. We'll be gentle. <laughs> hey, uh, adoption. Sorry, I'm just going to stop for just a minute. Mm -hmm. Councilor Wilcox, if you have any questions, because I can't see the screen unless I turn around, can you just go hello and I'll call on you? I would like to thank you very much for that gracious offer to speak over you, Your Worship, and uh, I'll do my best. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Anytime. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. Um, okay, adoption of meeting agenda, draft motion. Be it resolved that council approve the agenda of the regular meeting dated December 19th, 2023, as presented. I need a mover and a seconder. Councillor Cooper and Councillor Starchuk. Any discussion on the agenda? Okay, all in favor? Carried. Approval of previous council minutes, draft motion. Be it resolved that council approve the following minutes as presented. Regular meeting, November 21st, 2023. Committee of the whole meeting, December 5th, 2023. A mover and a seconder. Councillor Anderson and Councillor Starjuk. Any discussion on the minutes? No? Okay, all in favor? Carried. Items for council consideration, plastic meter lease discussions, draft motion, whereas council discussed a written summary submitted by the classic meter on their operations, and whereas council requires further information for ongoing discussions. Now, therefore, be it resolved that council agree to the following, that the classic theater arrangement remain as status quo for 2024, 
that staff be directed to create a policy for a standardized lease and pre-lease tenant information form for council's consideration, that the policy be reviewed at the end of quarter one, 2024, to assess timelines for implementation. I need a mover and a seconder. Councillor Hughes and Councillor Starcha. Discussion. Um, we did receive an email from uh, Mr. Caldwell from the Cobalt Classic Theater and he's asking that we consider an amendment to the motion being considered tonight. Uh, that we remain status quo through to April 30th, 2025. That will allow the Classic Theater and the Pied Piper to book full seasons in the Cobalt Theater. Um, and this will allow the con signing of contracts now, um, which they're currently considering uh, for September 1st, 2024 through to April 30th, 2025. Councillor Starchak? Yes, yeah, he, he mentioned that last meeting that he needed 18 months to make it to make everything work. So I don't see he can't do a year. He's got to have 18 months as the minimum, I think, to make this classic theater operational. That's what his point was. Okay, Councillor Anderson. Yeah, I'm in agreement with that. I did mention it and yeah. <clears throat> I wrote it down differently. Um, he also said that if we had something within the first quarter, he would still be able to do that. And I think we should look at it i think we have time to actually review it properly and then by the first quarter we could extend it a year or longer mm -hmm. um yeah i think this time frame is is plenty um, if we did come up with some sort of a rent or something it's not going to be where we cripple the business so we can relook at it like with angela said the first quarter maybe and then give them extension if it's duly needed Okay. But I think this is a long enough time for us to, we would like to get all the, all the places on the same page as soon as possible. Okay, so I'm just going to throw this out here as. Yeah, your worship. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, good. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to second uh, uh, the comments made in support of the request. Uh, by the classic theater, I think it is extremely important that they, they be allowed to put their contracts in place at the earliest opportunity. It's part of scheduling, part of getting the right price, part of getting the best entertainment into the area. So uh, I, I think we should give them the, uh, the, the, the scope to do that as they requested. Okay, thank you, Councillor Wilcox. Okay, and my thought is We've put a lot of burden on the staff to come up with a lot of reports in this last four months. Um, and this is another one that has a tight time frame, as well as the budget process, to get our budget struck as soon as possible in 2024. I think rather than rush this process, I tend to agree that we should just extend it to 2025. Um, whether we come up with a rental amount, a lease amount or not, it's not going to, I don't foresee it being a huge number. Um, every little bit does help. And I could be wrong on that. I don't know what council's going to decide. Um, so I think extending the 2025 makes more sense rather than rushing this whole process. It gives us time to review it, do it once, to do it right. That's just like that. Anybody else? I'm in agreement with you 100%. We, we need to push this off a little bit longer and allow them time to have their bookings in place. Okay. Any? Oh, and the only other thing, sorry, I forgot one thing. Um, any of the other entities uh, who lease from the town of Cobalt pay their own uh, security monitoring services. Um, in doing the research, we've discovered that actually Cobalt is paying the monitoring service for the classic theater. And as Mr. Caldwell pointed out, they own everything in the theater pretty much that's in there. Um, so I would like to make an amendment um, 
as well that they cover the costs. It's $25.93 a month that they cover the cost of the monitoring. Mm -hmm. 311 a year or something? Yeah, it works out to 311 a year. I think that's more than reasonable. Um, any discussion on that, thought on that, before I propose an amended motion? Okay. Okay, so I do have an amended motion. Sorry, this always confuses me. Okay, so we're going to vote on the original motion and then I'll propose the amended. Uh, with respect, Your Worship, if you pass the original motion, then it's done. Uh, you, you always do the amendment first, then uh, you pass the amended motion if the amendment is approved. Or you vote down this one yeah. and, then and then go to the amended. So if we vote this one and we vote this one down, can we not then propose the amended? And that's what I'm believing we should do completely. <laughs> Is, is it a major amendment? Can we just first and second the motion and then add, like, to, add okay, you know what? Okay, we got a first and a second. We'll go to the amended motion. Yeah. Uh, whereas council discussed a written summary submitted by the classic theater on their operations and whereas council requires further information for ongoing discussions. Now, therefore, be it resolved that council agree to the following, that the classic theater arrangement remain a status quo until April 30th, 2025, with the classic theater paying the security monitoring services, that staff be directed to create a policy for a standardized lease and pre-lease tenant information form for council's consideration that the policy be reviewed at the end of Q1 2024 to assess timelines for implementation. I need a mover and a seconder. Councillor Cooper and Councillor Starchuk. Okay. And any discuss further discussion on the amended motion? Okay, all in favor? Carrie. Are we supposed to be recorded? Okay, okay 7.2 holiday hours. Be it draft motion, be it resolved that council accepts staff report 2023 120503 as presented at the Committee of the Whole meeting December 5th. 2023 and approves the holiday schedule for the municipal office and public works department and that public notice be given. A mover and a seconder. Councillor Anderson, Councillor Hughes, any discussion? All in favor? Seven point three council remuneration. Okay, so before I get into this, you'll have noticed that there's multiple choices. So vote. when we do the vote, vote for the one that you're for, because otherwise it could get very confusing. If you're not for it, don't vote for it. Can I ask a question? Um, are we starting for when we're talking about 2023 20, remuneration? Is that where we started from last January? Can we save that question for our discussion? Pardon? Can we save that for our discussion? After we get a mover and a seconder? Well, we have to choose on all of those. Yeah, we'll move it first and then we'll discuss. Okay. And we'll answer your question. Okay. Okay. 7.3.A, 
draft motion, whereas council directs staff to create an elected officials remuneration policy for council's consideration outlining terms and procedures to ensure that there is a consistency and equity so it can be implemented for 2025. Now, therefore, be it resolved, council accepts 0% remuneration increase for 2024. A mover and a seconder. Councillor Cooper. No seconder? No I'll second. Councillor Wilcox. Okay, discussion. Councillor. So my understanding when we were elected was that there was a policy in place and that the policy was that it increased by the CPI, right? So there, there was one, in fact, that you and Councillor Wilcox and Councillor Anderson, in fact, voted for and put in place at the time. Um, so we, we did actually have one based on CPI that was agreed upon by councillors. So I guess CPI just short term became too high and now people want to change that or remove it entirely. So I do believe that we did have one that everyone at one point did think it was fair. So I wanted to point that out. Anything else? Okay. Hi. <coughs> yes, thank you, Your Worship. Uh, although, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Although previous council did pass <clears throat> one motion about remuneration, obviously everybody knows the situation is quite different this year and will probably continue to be quite different next year. And so I think uh, for the continuing uh, rate uh, that this whole business of trying to do it at the CPI, which is now a significantly higher number than was contemplated on during previous council, and that we go back to looking at uh, no increase for next year uh, until we get ourselves back in a better budget situation. Okay. Thank you, Councillor Wilcox. Okay. So. Well, recorded vote, please. Are we voting here? Yeah, yeah. Councillor Cooper already called for a recorded vote. Oh, bless him. Thank you. Okay, Councillor Cooper. Uh, my question still stands oh, well, from sorry. before, though. Yeah, I don't know. Are, Are we talking about for the 2023, you know, to take a look at all these different choices and which one we want? Is that 2023 where what we were making at the beginning of the year or the reduced amount? What we paid, 2022 is the same as 2023. We did the amounts changed through mm -hmm. the year to reflect the back to amount. 2020. So it is a what the number was for 2023 is the same as 2022. Okay. That's its percentage off of that. Okay, that's only for this particular motion of zero. The next page yeah. changes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's for no, all I was of them. Just oh. wondering what our numbers were to start. It's for all of them because 2023 is the same rate as 2022 mm -hmm. was. Okay. Because yeah, you guys previously voted to plot it back to the 2022 rate. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be based on what you're being paid in 2023, which is the same as what was being paid in 2022. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And are we voting for each of this? Yes. So this one we're voting for, and then we're going to do this one. Both yes. Okay. But you only vote yes for the exact one you want. For the one you don't want, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Can we clear as mud now? Yeah. Okay. Because I see this. Okay, so all in favor of A. Yeah, so Councillor Cooper. Four. Councillor Anderson. Against. Councillor Hughes. Against. Councillor Hunter. Against. Councillor Starchuk. Against. Councillor Wilcox. For. And Mayor Adsed against. Seven point three B draft motion, whereas council directs staff to create an elected official's remuneration policy for council's consideration, outlining terms and procedures to ensure there is consistency and equity so it can be implemented for 2025. 
Now, therefore, it be resolved that the 2024 remuneration be set at the 2022 rate plus the 2023 CPI to a maximum of 1%. I need a mover and a seconder. No mover, no seconder. All right, defeated. I have a question. Uh, well, May I ask that now, or does it have to be moved to discuss it? Has to be moved to discuss. Yeah, I move it. Okay. Well, I need a second. seconder for discussion. For okay. Councillor Hughes and Councillor um, Anderson. I see that it's a one percent. Was it not talked about when we last meeting to a maximum of two percent? Councillor Hughes, that's why you need to read your agenda yeah, before yeah. you come into the meeting. Well, I couldn't read it all. <laughs> okay, so uh, all in favor of 7.3 and well, we defeated. Yeah. Oh, no, all against. Seven point three C draft motion, whereas council directs staff to create an elected officials remuneration policy for council's consideration, outlining terms and procedures to ensure there is consistency and equity so it can be implemented for twenty twenty five. Now therefore be it resolved that the twenty twenty four remuneration be set at the twenty twenty two rate plus the twenty twenty three CPI to a maximum of one point five percent. Okay, a mover and a seconder. So defeated. Mm -hmm. 7.3D, draft motion. Council, whereas council directs staff to create an elected official's remuneration policy for council's consideration, outlining terms and procedures to ensure there's consistency and equity so it can be implemented for 2025. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the 2024 remuneration be set at the 2022 rate plus the 2023 CPI to a maximum of 2%. A mover and a seconder. Defeated. 7.3. E, <coughs> whereas council directs staff to create an elected official's remuneration policy for council's consideration, outlining terms and procedures to ensure there is consistency and equity so it can be implemented for 2025. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the 2024 remuneration be set at the 2022 rate plus the 2023 CPI to a maximum of 2.5%, a mover and a seconder. Like this one. Moved by Councillor Anderson. Move. Seconded by Councillor Hughes. Discussion. Your Worship. <clears throat> I'd like to propose an amendment to that, that it be uh, uh, with the addition of the words uh, subject to confirmation by Council upon completion of the annual budget. I don't believe we can do a motion like that. It's an amendment. Of course you can. Yeah. If he can get a seconder, I guess. And then if he can pass it. I keep things simple. Then can I remove my motion? Move. Yeah. Move. 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 yeah. Remove the move. Yeah. Remove. No, it's done. It's done. You've already moved, yeah. so it's done. So we don't have to accept his amendment. That's true, yeah. <laughs> so let's see if there's a secondary to his amendment. Okay, so amended motion reads. Where am I now? Whereas council directs staff to create an elected official's remuneration policy for council's consideration, outlining terms and procedures to ensure there is a consistency and equity so it can be implemented for 2025. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the 2024 remuneration be set at the 2022 rate plus the 2023 CPI to a maximum of 2% and the 
based on, sorry, 2.5% based on the 2020 confirmation of the 2024 budget. <coughs> a mover and a seconder. I believe I said to be confirmed by councils uh, following the completion of the annual budget. To be confirmed by council upon I completion know, of the annual budget. So <clears throat> be confirmed by council upon completion of the annual budget. Okay, I need a mover and a seconder. Okay, move by Councillor. Okay, I need a seconder. I'll second. You can move as well. You move the amendment. Yeah, you moved it. You can't second it. Councillor Cooper, you're going to second? Can he even move his own proposal? Okay, all in favor? Oh, sorry. Any further discussion? Recorded vote, please. Councillor Wilcox. Or. Councillor Anderson. Against. As it stands. Councillor Cooper. Councillor Hughes. Against. Councillor Hunter. Councillor Starchuk. Mayor Ad said against. So it's just the amendment. Uh, the yeah, latest amendment the of the amendment. Two four. And five against. So back to the original motion. So a vote on the original motion. Mm -hmm. okay. All in favor of the original motion? Or would you like me to read it again? Make a recorded vote. Hey, okay. Councillor Wilcox. Against. Councillor Anderson. <clears throat> Councillor Cooper. Green. Councillor Hughes? Four. Councillor Hunter? Four. Councillor Starchuk? Four. Mayor Adsad? Four. Two against? Five, four. <coughs> and carry. So there's no need to go through the remaining. <laughs> Motion. Okay, 7.4 Geo Exchange Project. Draft motion. Be it resolved that Council declines to pursue the Geo Exchange Pilot Project. A mover and a seconder. Councillor Hughes. Councillor Cooper. Any discussion? All in favor? Twenty twenty seven point five twenty twenty four budget advisory group. Draft motion be it resol resolved that Councillor Cooper and Councillor Anderson be appointed to the twenty twenty four budget advisory group. A mover and a seconder. Councillor Starchuk, Councillor Hughes, any discussion? Good luck. <laughs> All in favor? <laughs> Carrie. New eyes, new eyes. <laughs> 7.6 OPP Detachment Board, three appointments. Draft motion, whereas the Ministry of the Solicitor General introduced legislation to alter the formation of OPP detachment boards, 
And whereas the city of Chesapeake Shores presented a proposal on behalf of all 19 municipalities for the formation of three police services boards for the Chemisping OPP detachment, which have now been approved by the province. And whereas Cobalt will be part of the Chemisping Police Services Board South, which includes Cobalt, Lashford, Casey, Harley, Harris, Hudson, Kearns, Tomogamy, and Tomogamy First Nation. And whereas each municipality is required to appoint a municipal representative. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Council appoints Mayor Angela Adsed as the Town of Cobalt representative to the Temiskaming Police Services Board 3. A mover and a seconder. Councillor Starchuk, Councillor Anderson, any further discussion? All in favor? Carry. 7.7, 7, Township of Aventura Letter of Support, Draft Motion. Be it resolved that Council supports the resolution from the Town of Aventura and recommends that gender-based violence and intimate partner violence be declared an epidemic in the province of Ontario. And further, that this resolution be directed to the Premier of Ontario, Association of Municipalities of Ontario, and Timiskaming Municipal Association, and Phnom. A mover and a seconder. Councillor Anderson. Councillor Starchuk, all in favor? Carried. Items for council information, there are none. Bylaws and agreements, 9.1, bylaw 2023-36, amendment number two to bylaw 2009-003 for the maintenance and occupancy of property, property standards. Draft motion at the Committee of the Whole meeting on December 5th, 2023. Council received staff report 2023-12-05-01 with a recommendation to adopt administrative fees and an escalating fine scale. Now, therefore, be it resolved that bylaw number 2023-36 being an amendment to bylaw 2009-003 for the maintenance of occupancy and property be taken as read a first, second, and third time this 19th day of December 2023, and further that said bylaw be signed and sealed by the mayor and clerk. We need a mover and a seconder. Councillor Cooper, Councillor Hughes, any other discussion? All in favor? Carried. 9.2, bylaw 2023-37, amendment number two, bylaw 2021-12 to provide for maintaining land in a clean and clear condition, clean yards. Draft motion, whereas at the committee of the whole meeting on December 5th, 2023, council received staff report 2023-12-05-01, with a recommendation to adopt administrative fees and an escalating fine scale. Now, therefore, be it resolved that bylaw number 2023-37, being an amendment to bylaw 2021-12 for the maintaining land in a clean, clear condition, be taken as read a first, second, and third time this 19th day of December 2023, and further that said bylaw be signed and sealed by the mayor and clerk, a mover and a seconder. Councillor Anderson, Councillor Hughes, any discussion? All in favor? Gary. Unfinished business, there is none. New business, schedule of accounts. Be it resolved that Council receives the following schedules as presented. Schedule number 2023-2022. Sorry, let me try that again. 2023-2022 in the amount of $148,156.02. Schedule number 2023-23 in the amount of $147,200.12. A mover and a seconder. Councillor Cooper, Councillor Starchuk, any discussion? All in favor? 
Carrie. Uh, mayor's report. Number 11.2, sorry. Mayor's report. Notice of meeting dates for January 2024. Committee of the Whole is going to be moved to January 9th, 2024. This is the way the holidays fall. fall. And regular council meeting will be then January 23rd, 2024. So it's shifted. We just shifted by one week. <laughs> Otherwise, it's too tight of a timeline between when staff comes back in the meeting. Okay. Um, the other thing I'd like to report in the mayor's report is our community engagement Christmas gathering, I think, was a success. We had 17 individuals come out. Um, I would like to uh, thank Pat Anderson, Rosie. Sorry, I can't remember Rosie's last name. DeVoe. DeVoe. Jim Starchuk and Joey Wink for coming to help set up for it. It was very much appreciated and for staying to help with the cleanup. Um, we had a wonderful get together. Uh, Santa came to visit and there will be pictures posted on our Facebook page for the town of the individuals with Santa. Um, well, remains to be seen whether he's going to fulfill everybody's wishes. There was some pretty odd ones. Um, and we come up with some plans for next year that we're pretty excited about and some ideas of getting people pulled together as a community and pull businesses together as well. I, just, I think I counted 25 of us in total. I was going by the sign-up sheet. Oh, oh the sign-up. Okay. So if they didn't sign in, I couldn't count them. <laughs> So, but we we had a, if you've seen any of the pictures that have been posted, we, we had a full group. It was very good. So that gives me hope for the next um, engagement that we're going to have. And uh, let's see if we can flesh out the plans we've come up with and see what other great ideas everybody can come up with to keep improving where we live and where we love to live. I'll, I'll speak for myself. Okay. Um, and now we're going to go into a closed meeting. Um, we're hoping that video will resume after the close. Uh, however, if we have any technical difficulties, the meeting will still reopen, but we may not have any video recording. So fingers crossed that technology is on our side. Motion, be it resolved that council convene in a closed session as per section 239 of the Municipal Act 2001 as amended in order to address a matter pertaining to subsection 2A, the security of the property of the municipality or local board. A mover and a seconder. Councillor Cooper, Councillor, or sorry, Councillor Hughes, Councillor Anderson. Okay, all, um, all in favor? And carry. 13 business arising from closed meeting. So we have a motion. Be it resolved that council disperse 12,500 to the Cobalt Public Library effective immediately. We need a mover and a seconder. Councillor Anderson, Councillor Starchuk. Uh, all in favor? Yay. Carry. <laughs> um, confirmation bylaw, draft bylaw. Be it resolved that the bylaw number 2023 38 be bylaw to confirm the proceedings of the Council of the Corporation of the Town of Cobalt be taken as read a first, second, and third time this 19th day of December, 2023. And further that said bylaw be signed and sealed by the mayor and clerk, a mover and a seconder. Councillor Cooper, Councillor Starchuk, all in favor? Harry? Adjourn 15, adjournment, draft motion. Be it resolved that the regular meeting of council be adjourned at 9, 10 p.m.
mover in the seconder. <laughs> Councillor Cooper. Yeah, he just waved. <laughs> Councillor Cooper, Councillor Wil uh, Wilcox. Uh, all in favor? Carried. Good meeting. Have a good holiday, everybody. Very good. <laughs>